What is going up, guys? And uh, I am back here. I want to break down Valentina Shevchenko and her flyweight division that she is just dominating and destroying everybody that she faces ever since, since moving down to 125 when they made it. And uh, yeah, I want to welcome everybody. And I want to just hit like a small little milestone of mine that I, I just recently got. You know, nothing crazy. I just got a little over 50 subscribers, and I, I want to appreciate everybody from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching and continuously uh, watching the videos and, you know, leaving comments and liking on them. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you guys a lot. And, uh, yeah, if you're new, welcome. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell to get all notifications, and let's get right to it. So, Valentina Shoshenko, one of the biggest stars in UFC history when it comes to women's MMA outside of Ronda Rousey, Amanda Nunes, and then it's Valentina Shevchenko. Um, arguably one of the greatest, you know, there's nobody in the flyweight division, no girls that I see that are in the flyweight division who who is going to dethrone her anytime soon. You know, she's just too dominant right now and she's not making any mistakes. You know, I, I think... The Jennifer Maya fight, maybe, you know, she, Maya was the only person who really won a round over Valentina. But ever since then, man, she, like Valentina, since winning, since going down, I should say, to to the flyweight division, she's just been dominating and destroying all these girls. Like, she just recently fought Lauren Murphy, who she, did a, who she destroyed. Like, literally, like, Lauren had nothing. And I think she did almost absolutely nothing. You know, and like it's just it's just crazy to see a dominant champion as that. You know, um, she fought Jessica Andrade, one of the hardest women, hardest hitting women outside of Amanda Nunes. You know, I think Jessica Andrade fought in all three women's division, like, and that's crazy because she's not like, I mean, she's small, but you know, she's, you know, she got some weight to her or whatever. But um, yeah, man. Valentina, her style of just fighting, her Muay Thai is just phenomenal. Mixing it up with her wrestling takedown and her and just her grit when she does take you to the ground. She loves that crucifix position. You know, that's, if you're stuck in a crucifix, there's not much you can really do to get out of it. And she just, you know, she plays her cards very well. You know, I, I think that, you know, hopefully I want somebody down the line coming up in the division to give her, you know, a run for her money. Because I really thought Jessica Andrade was going to. I feel like the only person, and it wasn't even at uh, Flyweight, that gave her, you know, a run for her money was Amanda Nunes, which, you know, Amanda Nunes herself is, is a big star. You know, the quilt, double champ status she had. I mean, she has, I should say. You know, and... Uh, yeah, Valentina, her, like I said, her more is phenomenal. Um, her counter-striking is to a crisp teeth, you know. I feel like most of these women that fight her or prepare to fight, they want to they want to win, but then, like, when you in there with her, it's a whole different story, you know. Everybody can come up with a game plan um, to fight Valentina Shoshenko. I feel like you know, everyone's beatable, nobody's untouchable or whatever, nobody's unbeatable. But I feel like, you know, it's all mental. I feel like most of these girls lose mental. And it's not like Valentina goes out and just to, just start talking like the most craziest shit, you know, and and it just gets like too personal. She just says the, almost the same exact shit all the fucking time. Like, excuse me for my language. Like, she just says the same thing all the time. She literally is just like, I'm going to... They can make a game plan, but I'm just going to go out there and destroy them. Like, literally, I'm going to beat her. They can think they have something, but they don't. You know, they, you know, she went out and worked hard from that Jennifer Maya fight and to fighting Jessica Andrade and destroying her, just taking her down, you know, and destroying her there, which people thought that maybe Jessica Andrade would have had an advantage on the ground. You know, I, I feel like Valentina is definitely... From coming from Muay Thai to doing her jiu-jitsu and her wrestling, 
I feel like she is one of the most complete fighters when it comes to women MMA. There's nobody, arguably, that's going to be stopping her or beating her or even just making a question like, oh, like somebody's going to beat her. You know, I hope down the line we get the trilogy fight between Amanda and Valentina. You know, like that would be a phenomenal fight. You know, obviously Valentina has to go up and wait again to fight. Um, Amanda Nunes, I feel like if that fight was to happen, you know, I feel like for Dana White and the UFC and the fans, you know, it'll be just a mega fight to watch and everybody will want to see that. That's definitely a main event in my book because I, I think both ladies are, they're just dominant right now. I, I remember Amanda Nunes in the beginning, you know, and compared to now, and I, uh, I remember seeing Valentina Shoshenko in the you know, back to weight division. She holds herself good. She had a couple of losses in there. You know, but ever since they made the flyweight division, you know, and it's such a shame that, I mean, I, I'm not a shame, but I think it's just funny that, you know, people forget that Nico Montano was the, you know, first ever flyweight, but she never defended it. She don't even fight, you know. So when people talk and see Valentina just dominating, you know, everyone forgets that, you know, Nico was champ first, you know, even though she never. And if that fight would have happened between her versus Valentina, I feel like Valentina definitely would have, you know, somebody would have called, like, the EMS for this chick because she would have just killed her. You know, like, it's just crazy, you know. It just feels like, you know, the division was just made for her. You know, because back then, UFC didn't have, you know, the flyweights and strawweights, you know, and the bantamweights and the flyweight for the women. You know, I remember you were, I remember Dana White talking about that he didn't want no women uh, MMA in the UFC. You know, obviously, that all changed with Ronda, you know, and she, so it's, it's cool to see that, you know, the women's MMA is getting the respect that it deserves and it needs. You know, I feel like these women fight their heart out. All the time, it's fantastic to see. You know, sometimes they push harder than the boys, man, and that's just because they always feel like, to me, when I watch women MMA, that they have to prove all the time that they are relevant along with the boys. It was obviously, you know, it's 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 a male dominant thing, you know. Obviously not anymore. You know, you got a lot of women divisions, uh, a lot of girls that are coming up, you know, or in different promotions. And they're, they're just doing their thing. And it's it's awesome to see. You know, but back to Valentin Shoshenko. Like I said, there's nobody beating her. I just hope down the line, the trilogy fight happens with Amanda Nunes. You guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think below of Valentin, Valentina Shoshenko. And do you guys want to see that trilogy fight between Amanda Nunes and Valentin Shoshenko? Because I do. Let me know in the comment section. Till til next time, have a good night or day or whatever, and I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.